Something, something back. Gonna, gonna drop whoa, whoa, whoa! Shaman changes We're doing this again. Yo, yeah. yeah hopefully, yo, 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 yo! Shaman yeah. changes. Bear, 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 bear. First, what did you say, Vont? Shaman changes right here, baby. B R B. What do we got? Oh, oh, oh no! We have like an an hour of AFK time now. B R B. Pull him up. I think it's the exact same thing. Pull him up, baby. If it rolls bad, it would give us another key to re-roll with us. It's finally here, shamans. The shaman talent tree updates okay. have been... What the hell is that? Have been hotfix onto the war within beta. Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> Bro, here we go, dude. Y'all, don't pull it. Y'all, no spoilers. No spoilers. I, I lower my Notharis, right? No spoilers. We're going line by line. Hold on. Yeah. Aftershock. Talents. Oh, <laughs> dump. What is that? Not like this? Oh, God. Aftershock, Earthshock, Elemental Blast, and Earthquake have a 25%. Okay, talent position has been changed. Wait, okay. Uh, this is too slow? Hang on. AG for the next 10 seconds. 25% of your healing. Okay, that's, sound, that's the same, right? Talent position has changed. Talent position has changed. Call of Fire. Increase the damage of your Flame Shock, Lava Burst. Removed. Okay, well, they're going to recompensate us, right? Surely. Surely, re category change from talents to uncategorized. So I, I, I'm hoping that means, like, it just we just get that. Natty? I'm hoping that that just means we get that natty. Call Thunder. Removed. I'm, I'm, yeah, this has to be natty. There's no way they're just... Unless... Unless the 30% buff is staying and they're just removing this, which is fine, right? Because the 30% buff was actually rather large, too large, right? It damages your lane well, so this is removed. Echo Chamber increases the de Yes! Oh my god! There we go, max rights 2 to 1. Echoes 2 to 1! Let me see if any of this changed. So the 15 is right. After casting Earthshock. Wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is this goes wait, this goes two to one, but But they're not giving us a second rank. These little shits. That's okay. You know what? That's fine. They don't want Earthquake to be too overpowered. Even though right now it hits like nothing. It's fine. Look at all these ads, bro. I need ad block bro got some some leave and talent position has changed all these are changing but i think not even looked at the calculator baby ice fury causes your frost shocks to damage up to okay removed what electrified jocks is gone elemental equilibrium position has changed rank two to one thank you what's the percentage seven percent so a little bit of a nerf because we had 15 or 8. Why why, why would they just leave it at 8? Like they did. Wait, even Echoes got a little bit, right? 67. No, ec see, Echoes remained the same. 60, 70. This should be 8%. It's fucking weird, whatever. Eye of the Storm. Maelstrom by 5 and 7. Wait, this kind of fucks us. Hold on. This kind of sucks. Wait. Cause if we don't get the 1015, that's gonna fucking suck. But okay, you know what? It's, it's okay. Flash of lightning. Talent position has changed. Okay. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. No enhance. F enhance, baby. This is all Ellie. Flow of power increases the maelstrom generated by lightning bolt and lava burst by two. Position has changed. Flux melting. They kept this shit in. Nobody even used this for the years. They took out electrified shocks, but leave this in? Fucking weird. Okay. Uh, further beyond is removed. Yeah, nobody was using that shit since you fucking gutted it, Blizzard. Fucking nerds. Do we know what uncategorized means yet? Ton of blank spaces on the calculators. Improved flame tuck weapon. Position has changed. Bro, everything's moving. Holy shit. Inundate? Remove. Thank you. Shit is useless. Nobody used that anyway. Lava surge. Uh-oh. 
okay so there's a lot of question marks right like what does this mean right like this is this is a critical component of fire build right and they can't just remove it and uncategorize it so maybe it means they're going to add it back later somewhere or they're giving they're giving it to us baseline somehow position has changed position has changed magma chamber two to one thank you i said to remove all these two to ones 1.5 percent so if it's, if it's just not being ends up being one fine but this allows us to get more talents right rather than just fill out lane two out of two everywhere so we are taking a little bit of a nerf if they stay at one rank at these we are getting nerfed a little bit depending on where they are in the tree but if we can get like an extra capstone then we're huge baby echoes is the capstone oh no but don't say that yeah hold on mass of the elements specialization change from ellie resto to elemental baby yeah, see, this is actually super annoying to play as Resto. Lava Bursting for Resto and, like, Healing Rain. And Lava Bursting, it's, it's really weird. Casting out increases damage. Okay, so we knew that. See, this is weird. They actually kept our 20% here. This one, they actually kept the 20%. You, usually when they go from two ranks to one, they take the rank one power. This is 20%. Calculator image. We'll, we'll save that here. Okay. Dude, what the? Oh my god. Let's go, baby. Okay, so mountains. Town position has changed. What is this? Removed. What is this? Oh, yeah, the yeah, extra haste. Power of the Maelstrom. Two to one. Yeah, that's a good change. It's fine. We don't really use it. Uh, change this. Oh my god, bro. Imagine we can get. Hang on. Change. Remove primordial surge. Interesting. There's more changes? A lot of blank spaces? Searing flames. No! They should have just removed this shit, bro. We don't need searing flames, man. Fuck. Delete searing flames. Flame shock damage. Oh, what a joke, dude. Skybreakers. Oh, bro. I've always wanted skybreakers with what we have now. Imagine skybreakers with like with wind speakers. Oh my god, we're a fucking big boys. Stormkeeper, charge your shelf with uh -huh. if you already know Storm can gain one additional charge. Wait, no wait, hold on. Huh? Town position has changed, okay. I know there was like a second Stormkeeper. Oh whatever. We should have a perma fire earlier. Uh, constantly refreshing our flame shocks is not it. It's a terrible way to play elemental, and it sucks. Just gonna change, remove. Is this the knockdown? Yeah, the knockdown. Oh my god! Well, they're changing everything. PVP talents don't care. What is this enhanced crap? This is resto crap. General. What? No! Why would they remove our fucking shit, dude? What the hell is this? This shit needs to be deleted. Ancestral Wolf Affinity uses. Town position on DRE. DRE is here to stay, dude. DRE is still here, here to stay. Positions have changed. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Position has changed. This has changed. So everything is changing. Rank. Let's see what they're removing. Thank you. Bye bye. This garbage ass waste waste of a slot. Oh shit, I'm slowed after I'm hexed. Ooh. Waste of a talent. Yeah, and categorize is probably new things or baseline or somewhere new. I don't know. Uh yeah, this is also a shitty talent. This, this is a two talent, by the way. That's fucking waste. Okay, Mana Spring should be removed. Delete Mana Spring? It does nothing? Nature's Guardian. 2 to 1. Change this. Why is this so, like... This should have been in the Ellie tree. Splintered Elements, but it wasn't there. Just gonna change. Remove, thank you. Swirling currents is useless. 
Surging shield should be removed too. This shit, I don't know. For Ellie, it should be removed. Okay. Track wire should be removed. Thank you. Tremor, sure, we can keep that for whatever. You use it one out of 99 dungeons. Change. Winds of Alakir should be removed. Ugh, lame. Okay. Let's look at the calculator. Yeah, Tremor's good for PvP. Yeah, that makes sense for it to say. Yo! Yo, what? Bro, what the f is happening? Yes, I don't need Chain Heal for Earth Shield. Thank the heavens. I don't need Swirling Curse. Yes. What the fuck is this? Are these blank? It's blank? Yeah, these are blank. Oh, baby. Okay, let's see. What are the cap zones? Tranquil Air is gone. Stone Skin is still here. Spearwalker's Grace, AG. Fucking. We need this shit for fucking farce here. We gotta be like, bam, bam, hoppity skip down, haluka, bam. Fucking annoying. It's a hero talent, by the way. Is there more? Am I missing something, bro? Not yet. Uh, no extra. Not that I've read. Okay, what do we got on this side? Oh, fuck. Dude. Dude, dude dump. Bro, Skybreakers is not even a capstone. Blizzard is high as fuck. This shit is busted. <laughs> We're going far seer, baby. Woo! <laughs> we going far seer. We're fire again, son. We fire. What the fuck is this shit? Dump? What the fuck is ma <laughs> Is this magma totem as a capstone? Am I high? They better change that shit to be worthy of a capstone. Huh? That looks like magma totem, right? Am I high? Bro, they're just fucking flinging shit around. Dude, if if they give us skybreakers, where's wind speakers? What the fuck? P wave is over here? Dude. I don't care, bro. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay, okay, hang on. I can probably launch beta. Sorry, bros. To my squad, I'm so sorry. We gotta take a break. Forgive me. Yo, what? Raid buff for Shaman? Let's go. Let's go, boys. Next Sky Free Raid buff. Oh my god. We've been saying it for years. Earlier today, we unfortunately deployed a small part. Wait, unfortunately. This may have put the class into a bad state for testing. Yes, it did. But that will only be the case for the next day or so. We have a significant. Yes. Let's go. Let's go, baby. We're hype. First, we like to outline blah, 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 blah. Sky Fury. Throughout Dragonfly and the War Within Development. Topic of raid buffs, yes, because there's only one class missing at Blizzard, and that's Shaman. Our goal with this buff is to fully replace the Winfrey Totem buff previously brought by Enhancer Shaman and grant Ellie and Restoration access to a raid buffs and cures their value in raids. So, okay, Skyfury incorporates the previous effect Winfrey Totem had of activating additional auto attacks with a small mastery buff. Players may also know. That this is lifting the party-wide restriction previously in place of Wind Fury. Yes, dude! Raid-wide Wind Fury slash Mastery? Yo, hold on, though. Is it a buff or is it a totem? If it's a totem, I'm going to be sad, bro. Hold on. It better not be a totem, dude. It better not be a totem. But a Shaman class should reduce the node count. Yes. 
defense and throughout the nose will allow most of the decision making to be fucking into pieces of utility. There will also be a new toy to help with group utility and personal survivability. We saw one new toy. I guess the kick. That kick is OP, by the way. What's the group utility? What are new toys for the group utility? I didn't see that. Further down to talents? Alright, alright, hang on, hang on. No spoilers! No spoilers. Elemental. Elemental updates focus on scaling their proc rates to be more consistent between AoE and single target situations. Allowing for things such as lava bursts to have more impact on their rotation, improving their town tree layout to allow more diverse builds. Okay. We want to empower Ellie Shamans to be able to specialize as lightning focus, lava focus, or weaving between all the elements. I don't think we're ever going to weave between the elements, but... What the hell? Hello? What's happening? Alright. Wait, why is this clickable? What the fuck? You guys see this? Invisible ad or something? Weird. Can you guys click this too, or is it just me? Oh, it's like a fake ad. Dude, look at all these ads. Okay. <laughs> I can't get It's like an invisible ad or something. Okay, uh, so we're always either going to be fire or lightning so far, in my opinion. So, resto, enhance, okay, class tree. Many times I've moved locations. Yep, Sky Fury. Harness the Fury of the Wind Lord. Dude, were they listening to me, bro, when I said Alakir? No, wait, that's not Alakir. No, I, I was saying Lei Shen. Wind Lord is like Alakir, right? To grant the target ally 2% mastery? Mm. Guys, how much is Arcane Intellect? Is it 3% or is it 5%? In the next expansion. Oh. Why the fuck am I getting 2% mass? <laughs> okay, whatever. We'll take what we can get. And empower their auto attacks 20% chance to strike again for one hour. If the target is in your party rate, all affected party members will have been affected. Learn at level 17. Yeah, this is fucking garbage. <laughs> but you know what? No, it's not. Because the Wind Fury makes up for it, kind of. But it's like... 2% mastery is garbage. Uh, I'm going to say it right now. Dude. Like, compared to 5% it... Compared to 5% it, it's garbage. But we are going to take what we can get. Because at least now people will be like, well, at least we get some mastery, right? Elemental resistance. Healing from healing stream totem reduces... What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Healing from healing stream totem reduces fire, frost, and nature damage received for 3 seconds. Huh? This shit sucks. Because you can't control who's who it's gonna tick on. And it only ticks on one person at a time. And if it ticks on the same person, it's like, okay, congrats. And it's not you. <laughs> okay, now for this is like a resto talent, I guess. Refreshing waters. Your healing surge is 25% more effective on yourself. I think we already had this. Did we not have this? Whatever. Let me mute the sounds. We had this. Thunderstorm can now be cast on allies. I saw that. That's actually insane. It's insane that it's 25% further because uh, Thunderstorm is already insanely far away. Um, interrupting a spell with Winshu Decrease Damage taken from that spell. Uh, this... Wait, stacks up to two times. Did they change it already? Uh, on, behind us on the... It says three times on the tooltip, but this could be two times. It's fine. This is actually insane. Actually. Um, for keys, this is like insane survivability for us, I think. It's like, this is nuts. Especially with flash and lightning talent, if we go lightning build, we're gonna have we're gonna have kick up like every on average like every six to seven seconds. In season two, our kick had like on average eight second CD, seven seconds, because you spam chain lightning. So if there's mobs that are like doing fire casts and you kick it, 15% reduced damage, amazing. 
on bosses that you can't interrupt, then you just don't. It just won't work, right? You just won't take that talent. Uh, encasing cold. Frost shock snares his targets by just 10%. Okay, uh, nobody cares about that. We have Earthbind Totem. This shouldn't even be like a new talent. Frost shock snares initial 10 and duration is increased. It's more like PvP, I guess. Arctic snowstorm. Enemies within 10 yards of your frost shock are snared by 10%. Oh, it's snared by 30%. I mean, it's kind of like another wasted because we have Earthbind Totem. But. And then we have that ability to like AoE slow, I guess, on demand. It's not bad. It's more for PvP, maybe. I don't know. Ascending Air. The cooldown of Windrush Tone is by 30 seconds, and its movement speed lasts another 30 seconds. They should have made Ascending Air also increase it by 10%. It should be equal to Roar. There's no reason. There's no reason Stampeding Roar should be 10% more move speed than Windrush Totem. Enhanced abuse. The effects of your abuse weapon abuse are increased by 20%. Uh, that that would be very good for fire build for flame tongue weapon, right? I'm assuming that's what that means. Summon an earth totem at the feet of the caster for 30 seconds, granting the caster a shield. Okay, the only thing I don't like about bulwark is that okay, I think this is wrong because the tooltip says 30 seconds and then additional absorb. Oh wait, no, this is right. Wait, what? And then additional absorb every five seconds. So you're going to drop it and get an absorb. And then after 10 seconds, you I don't know how this works. I guess we'll test it right behind us in a bit. What is this? Yeah, no, I have it behind me. Yeah, the in-game tooltip. Okay, jet stream. Wind rush totems movement speed bonus increased by ten percent. Oh shit! There it is. Yo, and remove snares is kind of nuts. Jet stream is very good. You think about the think about the dragon in halls in halls that puts that snare on everyone that debuff. This is insane for raid. You can stack, and if there's like an AoE slow, you wind rush that shit out. That's insane for a raid, guys. Wind rush totem is going to be mandatory for some bosses. Primordial bond. While you have an elemental active, your damage taken. So we have that. Why does this say new talent? I think they're saying new talent because they, they they're moving it from the Ellie tree to the shaman tree. Because so now enhance can get this talent, and resto. That's interesting. Voodoo Mastery has been redesigned. Redesign your hex targets. Nobody cares about hex. Flurry removed from class tree for enhance uh, to the enhancement tree. The cooldown of gust wind is removed. Yes, that's awesome. Twenty second gust. Earth grab totem and wind rush totem no longer share choice note. Excellent. Lightning lasso and thunder shock no longer sure. The falling times are now one point. Good changes here. Nature's Guardian took a little bit of a nerf. Because it's it used to be like, uh, God, 30%. Now it's like, let's look. Now it's 14% of your maximum health. So, like, there's, there's a hero talent that increases... That increases uh, Nature's Guardian by 5%. So, we, we took an overall nerf by Nature's Guardian, which sucks, so... All in times have been removed. All these are removed. Okay. Tranquil Air Totem. You don't say. I would have liked to have kept Stone Skin, but that's fine. Oh my god, bro. Bro, is Ellie back, dude? Oh, they overlooked it? They're, are they going to give us the rank 2 obliterate, you think? Because they're giving us the rank 1s. Some, in some situations, they're giving us less than the rank 1s. I'm hoping they're just rank 2s when they update them. Fusion of Elements. After casting Ice Fury... Yo, Ice Fury is here to stay for all the Ice Fury haters. After casting Ice Fury, the next time you cast a nature and a fire spell... Dude, stop doing this shit where you're like, ah... 
You got to cast a nature and then a fire and then you got to cast quake and then you get this, you know, like just stop. It's never going to happen. You additionally cast an Ellie blast at your target at 60. Okay. Fuck. Dude. They're making us think. I'm not reading. It's my it's hurting my brain to read this part. I'll keep reading. All right, all right, all right. My bad, my bad, my bad. Your, <laughs> your next chain lightning or lightning bolt has 40% reduced cast time after hitting Earth Shock, Ellie Blast, or Earthquake. Can accumulate up to two charges. Storm Frenzy. Okay. Stormbringer might be popping off. Wait, this is going to be weird because some of our hero talents give us like instant chain lightnings. This is This is going to be weird. Stormbringer gives us like instant chain lightnings after doing something and then faster chain lightnings. Are these going to be overwritten by the instant ones? I don't know. While Storm Elemental is active, your nature damage dealt is increased by 10%. Oh shit. We have kind of a CD. Oh shit. Dude. Fuck yes. This is like, yes. Thank you. So with Sky Furies and M plus, we have permanent 10% damage. They're going to nerf Skybreakers, by the way. Skybreakers is going to be too good for keys. Lightning Conduit. While Lightning Shield is active, your nature damage dealt is increased by 8%. Holy fuck. We're so back, baby. Dude. Yo, stop. No spoilers. Increases the duration of your elementals by 20%. Doesn't matter with Sky Freeze, We probably won't even take this. Thundershark Ward. Imbue your shield with the element of lightning. Oh my god. For one hour. You can imbue your shield? Giving Lightning Bolt Chain a chance to call down... <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Let's fucking go, dude. Earthen Rage is probably going to suck. It sucked uh, in Shadowlands, I think we had it. I just tested it right now. It's hitting for like 9k. It doesn't do much damage. Probably going to skip that one. Echo of the Elementals. When your Storm Elemental and Fire Elemental expires... Wait. At least behind a lesser. Oh my god. Do you guys do you guys know with skybreakers? Listen, with skybreakers, on average, if you have six targets, your fire early, you can resummon it. I'm not even joking, like every 20 to 30 seconds. But we'll see. We'll see. If that's only if you have P Wave CDR. We don't know if they deleted that or not. You're gonna keep, and we don't know if you resummon Fire Ellie when you have a Fire Ellie, if that counts as expire. And if you get like a little bro or not. I think it does count as an expire though. The cooldown of Ascendance is reduced. Okay, two minute Ascendance. Your, alright, uh, Preeminence? Is that how you say that? Preeminence? Preeminence, Preeminence. Your haste is increased by 25% while Ascendance is active. Okay. We we might actually take this. I don't know. Uh, in Fire Build. We'll see. Fear of the Storms. Activating Stormkeeper summons a powerful... Okay, we already saw that. Uh, a Lightning Elemental to your side. I like how they say powerful, but he's actually not hitting that hard. He's not that powerful. Primordial Fury has been redesigned. Now increases the critical damage bonus of Elemental Fury by 25%. Sure. Ice Fury has been redesigned. Casting Lava Burst has a chance to replace your Nest Frog Shock with Ice Fury. Stacking up to two times. What? Alright, I'm fucking curious how this is going to work. I'm already seeing some issues. What if you have two charges? Are you going to double Ice Fury? <laughs> and then do you get eight empowered Frost Shocks? You know what I'm saying? I'm already like, I'm thinking like, if you have two, two charges, we'll see. No, Ice, Ice Fury is probably not going to be in, so we'll see. Do they mean like, like when you ice fury you get two empowered frost shocks or do they mean that you get two ice furies we'll, n we'll know once they once they implement it yeah ascendance and dre is huge ice fury now empowers the next two frost shocks oh 
I like how this like answers my questions on the next one. Ice Fury now empowers the next two frost shocks was four. Yo. Are we gonna like Six back to back here. ice Fury though? Is there. We just need Sean. Elemental Overlord has been redesigned. Now increases all physical and elemental damage dealt. The damage of Elemental Overlord is not twenty five percent normal. Wait, no. No, what? They gutted our overloads, bro. Baby overloads, man. You're crazy, bro. It's okay though. All right, we just wait. We have to test it first to see what it's like. Cause maybe we would be too fucking busted if we had 85. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm. It, it's worrying me a little bit now that the, the our overloads are a little bit busted. Yeah, mastery can be good for earthquake, and earthquake can echo at 25 percent of really. So we might be scaling better, right? Infinite scaling that? Yeah, we might be scaling better. Lava Surge is now learned at level 12 and has been removed from the class tree. Let's go. That's what I was calling it. So we get that baseline. Inundate is now learned at level 14. The trigger the trigger rate of Lava Surge and Searing Flames now scale based on the number of targets Flame Shock is on. I don't think Searing Flames is something we're ever going to take unless they nerf Maelstrom Gen. We'll see. Wait. It should trigger slightly more often, and then AOE should trigger less. Oh no! Fuck that! I like it on AOE when you have six flame shocks up. It triggers a lot. Flash of lightning now also increases the critical strike chance of lightning. Oh shit! Huge. This talent is insane, by the way, guys. We're gonna be permanent lightning build. I'm calling it right now because of flash of lightning. This talent carries us because. This reduces the CD of Astral Shift. It's going to reduce the CD of Bulwark Totem now. The CD of Lightning Elemental. The CD of fucking Earth Elemental. The CD of Gust of Wind. The CD of Kick. The CD of Thunderstorm. We're only going to be Stormbringer. Lightning. And now, like, now Flash and Lightning increases uh, critical strike chance of Lightning Multi Light with 10%. Amazing. Swelling Maelstrom now also increases the damage of Earthshock Elemental. Okay. So that's going to be probably a take. Yeah. Master of the, Ele Master of the Elements now increases the damage of the next spell by 15%. A little bit of a nerf there. That's fine. It used to be two ranks, right? 10, 20, now it's 15, one rank. Echo Chamber, same thing. It used to be a 15, now 10. Power of the Mission now causes the next Lightning Bolt. To trigger an additional elemental overload was two can now stack up to two times. It used to stack up to two times anyway. Magma chamber now stacks up to ten times was twenty. A little bit of a nerf there, unless it's like um change like the values. Oh my god, boys. Elemental equilibrium is now a ten percent damage bonus. Again, because it's a one noter, right? It used to be rank one, rank two. They're like giving us in between. Ranks 1 and 2. I'm not sure. Hunter said that they were getting their rank 2s. If they went down from 2 ranks to 1, they were getting their rank 2s. We're getting like rank 1s or half. Elemental Equilibrium no longer has a tracking debuff. Does that mean we just always get it? Eye of the Storm now reduces the Maelstrom cost of Earthshock and Earthquake by 5 and Elemental Blast by 10. Maelstrom generation has been updated for the following abilities. Lightning Bolt is now 6. So we're taking a little bit of a hit in, in generation. I don't think it's going to matter because we're going to have a shitload of Stormkeepers. Which is going to be like the majority of our gen. Ooh. This one sucks. The Ice Fury one's kind of hurt. So is the overloads actually. Fuck, dude. Oof. I don't like the I don't like the Maelstrom Gen uh hits at all. We'll see. We'll see how it plays out. We'll see how it plays out. Flow of power no longer increases Maelstrom generation from overloads. Stormkeeper has been removed from its choice node with Lightning Rod. Okay. 
Earthshock is now a choice against. Yeah, I saw that. Earthquake is now a choice node with an option to have it be cast on your target. No shot. Is that what this is over here? In the back? Earthquake cast on your target? Let's go, baby. Let's go on my target. It's going to follow my target? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that it's going to follow the target, right? It's just dropping on the target. Right? What do you guys think? Is, what do you, it drops on the ground. Do you guys think it's going to drop on... Do you guys think it's going to follow the target? Or it's just going to drop under the target? Just under the target, right? Yeah, just drop under. Does not follow? Yeah. That's what I figured. Following would be too good. <laughs> All these notes are not one point. Uh, yeah, we definitely saw this. Wait, guys, I don't see... Where did, um... Shit. Hang on. Where did, uh... Where's Rolling Magma, guys? No, bro. Rolling Magma's gone? Whoa. No, dude. I was gonna cook the sickest fire build, bro. Is Windspeaker's gone? No. Fuck you, Blizzard. No. <laughs> oh, bro. I don't know, man. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be a very lightning world next expansion, guys. I think it's R.I.P. for fire. Absolutely. I think Farseer is very weak, and now that they kind of messed with fire, oh man, that sucks. I'm trying to think. Oh no. Yeah, fire is kind of. It's too early to say. I think fire is kind of dead without rolling magma, without wind speakers. So, skybreakers can replace wind speakers. But if you don't have any CDR on your P wave, you're not going to be like a, a meatball spamming machine. Hmm. Primordial Bomb. No, this is still in the game. What are they talking about? They just moved Primordial Bond from the Ellie tree to the to the Shaman tree. This is still in the game, though. It's in the class tree, yeah. Alright. Yo, look at all these enhanced changes. What the hell? Enhance is lucky as hell. Oh my god, look at Resso. <laughs> Yo, we're up big though, bro. I, I can't wait till they implement this. I have to go test, bro. I have to go test. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For enhancement, we've generally been pleased with the state. <laughs> so we're approaching a lighter touch. <laughs> That means that we didn't we didn't have time for you guys. <laughs> that's a that's a professional way of saying yo, we didn't actually have time for y'all. <laughs> you guys are chilling. Okay, so how do we Did it say how we get this? Sky Fury. Learned at seven, yeah, yeah. But I want to know what it is. Is it a totem that we drop? Is it a buff on the raid, on our group members, or something that we have to drop every ten yards? Which is dog, right? If if it's a totem that we have to drop, I think it's just a raid buff. <laughs> like it should just be a buff. Okay, that's what I wanted. That's actually amazing. Like arcane intellect. Yeah, I. I if that's it, then that's huge, right? That's true. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we take those. So, what did we actually get for defensives, guys? We got... We got Bulwark Totem, which is two minute, but with Flash of Lightning, it's going to be... On average, one minute. 
we're okay. So fuck the fire build. Fire build is might be dead, especially because Farseer kind of sucks. We're gonna be we're gonna be Stormbringer Lightning build, I think. No, with no CDR on P Wave, we're kind of fire. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It's too early to tell. The reason fire build works right now is because of this talent right here, Splintered Elements. Right. So you have like 40% haste on six targets because P Wave comes back before this expires typically. So fire build works because of CDR on P Wave. Uh, and without this without this talent, fire build feels very, very bad and slow. So we're probably gonna be fire a uh, lightning build. So with this talent and lightning build, on average in keys in season two, my astral shift went from being a minute and a half to like a minute really strong really strong so so we'll have like a minute astral shift a minute and a half bulwark they should have reduced the cd on earth ellie to like three minutes to be honest but we'll have we'll still have earth ellie i'm surprised they didn't make any earth ellie changes earth ellie needs help how will lightning build even work without Wind speakers lava resurgence. I don't even think we ran it in keys. And ice sphere being a proc. So in keys, we never ran. I'm trying to think if we ran it. No, we we ran a single target wind speakers, because you can get an instant lava burst into Ellie blast, right? Do you think we'll get more defensive tomorrow? I don't think so. I think that's it. What they posted is that's it. I think that's going to be it. So this is another kind of like... Um, season wins is like another insane defensive. But bosses don't really cast. Some bosses do spawn adds that do cast. And we're going to want to pry all the shamans kicking those probably. No. The talents that we're missing are are in that post we just read right they're just gonna be here somewhere those talents are just gonna be here somewhere a... be playing chess how much shield do we get well, let's summon it what did john say be bad dude i have no idea 540k like we just we we never went afk so do we get the extra it. shield after this expires 540k boom I think that's true wait well, 417k Huh? We did kids AFK for like five minutes or whatever. Again? Not like a long thing like that. That's not what the tooltip says at all, by the yeah, way. I feel like we just never AFK. Oh, that's 30. You really want this Wait, why is it still here? It should be gone. Oh, Wait, God. we get it for 40 seconds. That's fucking good. Wait, hold on. That's not what the tooltip says at all, right? Because look. It's, uh. It's a you shield know, for uh, X gone. for 10 what seconds the? and up to an additional. <laughs> Did you grow the food and eat it too? X uh, every no, five my dad seconds. I just finished making it. Remember, Wait, I said you didn't I even eat. This... No, I'm eating right now. Uh, this totem is going to be really good for us. This totem is insane. I said I had to go to the store. It was either I. We did the key. This totem is really strong. And then I went to the it's store. like, think of a fight where you're rotting. You'll oh, drop it and you'll get that initial ready. shield. Let's see if we can oh, get it back. It's just. Starving for keys. Yeah, we don't have the talent. Starving for Raya. <laughs> Seeing people catch up to us. Ooh. Yeah, maybe if we had more than one week to play in the season. Uh, well, Pika caught us. Uh, let me check. He's 3,800. I, I think Jazzy's. Yeah, I got 38. Jazzy's group's done. I think for a bit. Wait. Comet Chaos is catching up. About it. Wait, I mean, it's not reducing the cast time of this. Days, but no, dude. They can play next week without any worries. So. Are you kidding me, bro? Flash and lightning isn't working on, on Bulwark Maybe Totem. Oh, nice. you mother. Looks really weird. All right, Bulwark so Totem should be back. nature, Come right? To the goulash. Spotty. It worked on Stone Skin. I can walk and eat Okay, look for like a. Does Flash effect? Totem recall? Oh my god, that's actually insane. <laughs> Can we totem recall this shit? So anyway, 
we get bulwark a like a rotting fight and then we have a 540k shield say we get hit boom and then boom 400 and then we get hit again every five seconds you're just gonna get this shield and then we get hit again wait this actually might be broken for like a rotting fight this shield All might be this broken brick first pull. Crazy. in the event that this fails where do we go so the totem won't be the best for like big hits Wait, that's what you'll save your sorry. astral shift for no, but crap. if there's like hit after hit after hit after, hit, after hit then this this totem's gonna be nuts yeah, like a right. like a rotting type fight that we're essentially and we can reset it <laughs> boys we're up good dude yeah oh my god we're up fucking good boys no i'm praying this game too this game's hard dude well, the thing is... Oh, shit. Over. So we have Ghost Wolf as a defensive. We know we've gained. We have Astral Shift. We can Bulwark, reset Bulwark. What that mean? So that's going to suck, because now we can no longer reset Magma Totem. Has been to maybe get can there be two at the same time? Oh, okay, you're saying. But in, in the event that we fail... We okay, so anything. Flash and Lightning works on Astral Shift. Yeah, you exactly. see down at the so tooltip, really every time I... Even I lightning bolt or chain lightning. It reduces the cat. It reduces the CD on uh, my astral yeah, shift. But brick or not, dude, it's not working on bulwark totem, and it should. I, you do. I, bet you want to I think it should. It's. I think it's a nature oh, spell. I hope. It's an earth not. totem. Hang on. It's, it's an earth totem. Or is earth nature, guys? Yeah. Would you guys consider earth nature an earth totem? It worked on stone skin totem. <laughs> Alright. Oh, totem really is not affected by nope. Flash of Lightning Same. CDR talent. Please fix. I hope this comp is, is, is at least close okay. to meta next season because I really enjoyed playing with you guys this season. Bro, Ellie's going to be unkillable. Dude, Misty can play anything. I'll just play whatever range is good. I don't know if it's working. I it should work on Earth Ellie. Some range DPS is good. But you can't play melee. You're a wimp. No, I said I would prefer not, but I can. Dude, ranged is. All the melee players are gonna hate this. Ranged is. Ranged is harder. Why does it say recharging yep, you're three just minutes, wrong, dog. guys? What does it say recharging three no, minutes? On the I've two been two. a melee player since the beginning of this game, and after playing ranged the past two, like as an. Do you think it's harder to play? Okay, let's see if we can stack season? our shields. So we drop a totem. I think that range reset. Have to play melee because general. you don't get. Drop another totem. Mm. Well said. <laughs> it no. is what it is, man. Ranged has a really big problem with keeping uptime in keys. It doesn't stack, and it's very hard to. So play you don't want to use it back to back. Melee, you do, however, want to track it. It's kind of in the same boat. Let's Not see. If flash of lightning really. works for. Well, your positioning's bad at range, you're doing zero damage. For totemic recall. How many times do you lo lose uptime on the mobs, Ken? Or on bosses? <laughs> you're it melee. Happens sometimes. It happens sometimes. Yeah, so when you're running away from them. <laughs> oh, it's Shit working on, on totemic recall. That's amazing. Rarely are you Okay, so flash and lightning works on totemic recall. Every single circle? Actually, you're right, Sean. I'm never. I'm it does work for ascendance, so. Show. Never. Yeah. Otherwise, get lightning lasso on T Storm is huge. Basically, every time you proc, you lost a global. Wait, what are you talking about? What? Yours, yours wait. Like what works for Ascendance and DRE? Global. Missing globals left and right. Flash of lightning? Well, you wouldn't you play Ascendance with lightning build. Uh, Bond, are you there? Yeah. Can you come over to the goulash? No. Ken's not asking. I figured. <laughs> Alright, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm not asking. You You're coming to the goulash. 